So I'm going to come over under terrain and I'm going to pull down under additional methods. Under additional methods, I have this option here to create terrain model from ASCII file. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one here, ASCII. And then I'm going to go ahead and select that X, Y, and Z file. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight it, hit done. And it brings up this uh, box here. On the right hand side, you'll notice how it's grayed out here. Uh, there's no existing terrain in this drawing. So that's why it's grayed out. Uh, if you had to do a projection, let's say, for instance, the data that was coming in was under a certain projection, and then you have the sources, the actual stuff, where you want to go and place it is to this drawing projection-wise. But we're just going to say that it's the same uh, data. It's surface-adjusted to surface-adjusted. We'll just kind of go with that. Down here, once again, we have the option to go ahead and set those feature definitions on how we get it created. We'll go ahead and select that one. So we need to create one, okay? Uh, if you had the same client that keeps giving you the same survey information and it's in the same method, obviously you can create an XML version so that way it's always brought in the same way. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and come over here and say create new. This one would be edit to go back and change whatever is currently being set here for our text importing wizard. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And the first line it says it's going to go and we're going to come through here through each one of these and make changes. So the first one is here. It says first line to import is one, right? So sometimes maybe there's some metadata in the file at the very top of the header of the file, some column headings or whatever. You can say, you know what, start on line 10 and then go all the way to the end of file. But for us, we're gonna go ahead and say one. That's good. We're gonna to go to the columns. Under the columns, uh, you'll notice that we have the option for delimited or fixed. So if there was a fix, we could use that under delimited. That's what we're using. Remember I said space delimited. If I uncheck that, notice how all of the columns are slammed into one header, which is this skip. If I hit space, you'll notice that they actually get separated into the individuals. So then our process is to identify what each column is. So in this one, this one's gonna be our easting for our X, Y, and Z, right? So our Y is our northing, and then skip will be, the last one is elevation. Now, if they had like maybe the text file and it had like a E space, whatever this number is, space N, for northing space this those e's and n's we could just identify those as skip so we just bring in exactly what we want the last thing i will go ahead and tell you is under feature type under feature type we want to actually don't bring it in as a break line we want these in as spots and the reason why i say that is if we had it as break lines then however these things were collected it's going to draw a line from that point to that point to that point and you could be drawing a star looking break line which you have crossing break lines that's not good okay so we just want to use just regular spots we'll say next filters uh, for the most part we just don't have to worry about those um, and then options once again that's that geo coordinates we don't have to worry about it and then I'll say finish then it's gonna ask me do I want to save this and then we can create one right we can create one I'm just gonna call it survey without the P save and now you'll notice that it is here and so the next time if i need to change it i just hit the ellipse and then i can go pick whichever one it is but that's what it is if i need to re-edit remember you can come over here and select here and make any changes that you may have forgotten all right so we're good to go uh edge method once again that's uh we said what roughly about 120 150 okay there is import. Do you want to import the terrain? Do you want to import the features or both? Terrain is a definite. We want to see the terrain. Features would be anything like, say, for instance, the ASCII file had break lines in them. Do you want to actually bring those in? Or both, which will do both. Uh, usually just leave this as import terrain only. And now I'm going to go ahead and say import. And there it is.